What's up, beat peers? Take a look at my Xbox One S controller, and you may be thinking that there's something a little different about it. And for one thing, the paint job sucks on it because it's got chips out of it and everything. That's my bad. But uh, the D pad has been foil taped. This was just kind of my project control. I did a lot of weird stuff to it. And uh, when I saw that the new Xbox Series um, X controllers um, didn't have the divot, I decided to take a little Bondo and remove the divot in my Xbox One controller. And this paint job is starting to look a little old. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a refresh and wet sand it down so it's nice and smooth again. We got ourselves some 1500 grit sandpaper and a bottle of water. We're gonna go to town on this thing. And here we go, it's wet sanded to what I'm willing to put an effort for. So this is what we got here. I might even use some filler primer to try to fill in some of these divots before I paint the next coat, but the reason why this paint looks terrible like it does is because if you look on the back here, you can see that this is not its first paint job. I've probably put four paint jobs on this thing at least. And so you can see right here, it's been hydro dipped and uh, that one actually looked really sweet. I don't know why I ever painted over it, but um, then I did like a little galaxy looking thing on it. And then it ended up becoming Mario Kart red after I uh, did that little number there. So. Yeah, it's had uh, an interesting life, but we're gonna give it some new life today, hopefully. Oh, here's our paint options. We got silver, orange, this is our primer section, black, purple, blue, gold, yellow, red. And this is the red that we painted it before. And I really liked that color, but I think I'm done with that for now. So, really I got it narrowed down. I don't want orange, because it's been orange before. The silver is not spraying correctly right now at the moment. So we're basically be dying between these four right here because I'm gonna be honest I don't know if I want my controller yellow so we're gonna keep it between these darker colors for right now and I am really torn I'm really torn right now I like this purple color even though I'm not a big fan of purple but I also really like blue but the gold though like I bet you'd be sweet with gold you know what we might try gold. I'm gonna see how this can sprays. It's been a while since I used it, and if it's any good, we'll try it. Now what we got here to start things off is a can of filler primer, and this should help fill in some of those divots that are nasty, like there's a little bubble down here, and that one's pretty much smoothed out. I use sandpaper on that one. That one is too, but you can see all the pitting over here, the eggshell and all that stuff. We're gonna do our best. It's not gonna make it perfect, but it will help. Here we go guys, fully primered and it looks pretty rough. And I'm thinking I might have to take some sandpaper to this now that it's been primed. And like I said, I'm not trying to get perfect, just trying to get better than this. Okay, after a little more work, this thing looks 10 times better on the areas that I was talking about over here than it did before, like way better. It's obviously still got some of this stuff in there, but honestly, I'm sure you'll see it once it's painted, but I don't think it'll be bad enough to bother me, so. Um, and some of that stuff you can like see it, but it doesn't like feel that bad And so I think once you get some layers of paint on it, you won't really notice it All right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and lay down a base of gold and then If I am so inclined afterwards, I think I'm going to add a little purple on top of that. So Got my gold here. I already test sprayed it a little bit that dry and we'll come back in a few minutes and give it another coat here you go guys final product um, pretty happy with it it turned out it's got a pretty good shine to it um, I tell you what if I had some clear coat laying around which I do not unfortunately it would make this look about 15 and three quarters and a half times better but I'll take what I can get the metal flake really helps hide some of the defects and so I'm happy with that 
over here it was really rough before and it's pretty much smoothed out now so filler primer did a wonderful job obviously on the big divots didn't do what or didn't do a whole lot but um it's not bondo it's just to fill on real small um stuff so pretty happy with it i'm gonna go assemble it and i did take the foil tape off the d-pad because i want it to be black and because i think that'll look good with the gold so let's go assemble guys as i was bringing it back into my trailer i did the unthinkable i dropped it on a pile of gravel and messed up that down here and up on the edge a little bit right there not super happy about that but hey it overall still looks better than it did and so i'm gonna put this thing together oops forgot to put the d-pad back in and uh do it man i already really like this i really like the way this turned out already and uh we'll get this thing put back together real quick and i'll show you the final product Thanks for watching the video guys and if you could help us reach a goal by the end of next month we're trying to hit 50 subscribers so I'd really appreciate your support on that if you'd subscribe and please like the video and as always peace out guys.